We will take a political compass test. So here we go. Before taking the test, please note this isn't a survey and these aren't questions. They're propositions. The purpose is to trigger reactions in the mind, measuring feelings and prejudices rather than detailed opinions on policy. Don't look at chat during it. I'm not going to what, know. What's my opinion on this one, guys? Guys, I, I'm going to read chat. I'm just going to vote the way I fucking want, though. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do it. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Um, I, I, I do strongly agree on this, but I want to go with agree instead of strongly agree for some reasons, because I think that usually this is an emotional argument because transnational corporations often can serve humanity as well. In the same way, it's like corporations say the government doesn't care about you and then the government says corporations don't care about you. So, like, I don't necessarily think... That, and, like, these corporations are also comprised of people. So, I, I, I do think that this is a little bit of a, uh, uh, you know, it, it, you know I, I, I don't know. Like, I, it, it, it's a little sus to me, but okay. I always support my country, whether it was right or wrong. No. Um, no one chooses their country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud about it. I disagree with that. I think that it's totally fine to be proud about the country that you were born in. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, the, the problem isn't pride, it's superiority. It's the difference between patriotism and nationalism. Everybody knows that. Don't they? I mean, fuck. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. <laughs> I think that I know what they mean by races. Okay. Um, no, I, I don't really think that's the case. No, I don't think so. There's plenty of people that are good at all kinds of different shit that are different races. And I think also, like, as soon as you start, like, getting into, like, statistics of, like, oh, well, like, this group of people is, like, taller or, like, has a higher IQ or anything like that, you, um, you dehumanize people. Because people are not a statistic, they're not a group, necessarily, they're individuals. And so I, I don't like thinking like this, I think it's unhealthy. Uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. I mean, isn't there like a depends here? Shouldn't there be like a depends? Like, I, I, I don't really know what, the, I, I don't know how I would answer this because like, I think generally this is true. But it depends on how it's true. I think this, yeah, it depends on the enemy. It depends on the situation. It depends on the power of the enemy versus the power of the enemy of your enemy. Yeah, it, this is a stupid question. I don't like this one. Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't like this word justified. I don't. I, I will say disagree. I, I would say actually just normal disagree, not strongly disagree. You know, and it depends on like what the law is. I don't know, because like martial law, yeah, because it's, it's like, who writes the law? Who decides whether something is justified? It's all subjective. Like, for example, I bet the Japanese probably didn't like the fact that we dropped nuclear bombs on them, but we're justifying it. So like, just so like just a, a man wrote international law. God did not write this. This is not the Ten Commandments. Why is there... So, like, I, I, I don't know, man. Your opinion of Justified? Yeah, it's my opinion of Justified. It's a gray area? Yeah, I, I don't know. There's a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Strongly agree. Thank God. Okay, there's one that I can just click yes on and move on. Okay. People are ultimately divided more by class than nationality. I definitely agree. Um, nationality, I, I think that this is, it's true and it's not true. Like, for example, I think that this is more true with, like, us and Canadians versus us and Saudi Arabians. Because, like, it's just a totally different culture, totally different world. Like, yeah, we probably might have more in common with somebody in a different social class than somebody in Saudi Arabia. But I think that a lot of poor people... Uh, you know, like given like the same general type of, uh, you know, social economic status, like if you talk to a poor person in Poland or Russia or uh, India, you will probably have more in common with them if you're poor than if you talk with a rich person of the same country.
I think that is true. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. I completely agree with this. I absolutely agree with it because I don't think that you can control unemployment because we're going towards a position of I don't think that people will be able to have expect to have a job in 30 years because so many things will be automated. So I don't think that controlling unemployment is a problem fundamentally. I think that the problem is not controlling unemployment. It's controlling people being able to survive. So, yeah, uh, because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment. They're... It's not that they cannot be trusted. It's that they can be trusted to violate the environment because they exist to make money, not to help the environment. And to the extent that they do help the environment, it serves a greater goal of making money. But don't forget which one, you know, the the uh, the dog is the money, the tail is the environment, okay? The dog is wagging the tail and not the other way around. From each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. This is a quote from uh, Karl Marx. Um... I don't know, because you use a word fundamentally, because like whenever you say fundamentally, you're talking about idealistically. And so like and, and also, I think many people have said that communism is a great system for robots. And so like whenever you talk about a fundamental thing, are you talking about an ideal? Or are you talking about a functional? It's very hard to say. So is a fundamentally good idea. I agree. I do agree. Because that's why we have scaling taxes. And I agree with scaling taxes. So, yeah, I, I agree with this. Now, I don't agree with it to the extent that Karl Marx does. But I do agree with it. It's not an, a strongly agree, but it is an agree. The freer the market, the freer the people. A free market can only exist whenever it's being controlled. Because the first thing that a person does whenever they have a truly free market is they control it. Why would you allow a free market to exist if you can price fix and scam people and then make the market not free and make more money? Like, we've had every single problem with this. Like, we've already gone through this like 10 times. What, what, what is this? Um, I do think that if you want to talk about an idealistic free market, I'm going to go with agree and not strongly agree. I am a massive free market advocate, but I think that the idea of a free market is only maintained by threat of force by a governmental entity or like some sort of uh, uh, like like oversight. Free markets are a terrible term. I think that they are, too, and they're often misused. Uh, it's a sad reflection of our society. Something as basic as drinking water is now a bottled branded consumer product. That's this is this is a literal like fucking r slash atheism take. That's so ridiculous. Uh, it the drinking water like yes, this is true in the case of Nestle and the way that they fuck up other people, other countries. Sure, yeah, absolutely. But are we really talking about that, or are we talking about people who bottle water and then they have it at an airport? Like for example, right? So if you have an if if you are providing a product. It's like that one fucking Australian guy that was talking about water being more and less expensive depending on where it is. Well, bringing it to that location is a value. And so that's why they're doing it. They're bringing it to that location to create value. So it's not really the drinking water that is the consumer product. It's the availability of drinking water that's the consumer product. So I disagree with this. I think it's stupid. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sold. I disagree with this. This is fucking stupid, too. Um, of course it should be now. And, and again, it's like everything about this is like, there's like 50 other butts and, uh, you know, like asterisks, etc. Terrible asthma attacks. Yeah, no, of course you should be able to own land. Of course. Cause you, if you can't own land, then the idea of, no, of, of people not owning something is fake. Everybody has owned everything for all of time. It's just the way that that ownership is enforced. 
It's regrettable that so many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. I completely disagree with this. I think this is a take from somebody who doesn't understand the input and the way that stocks work. Whenever you are investing in a company, you are empowering that company to make more money. And then you get more money back from that. So no, I think this is a ridiculous opinion. And you're also risking it as well. You know, I don't know if you don't pay real estate tax. Well, I'm just saying like with uh, with this though, is how is shorting ethical? Um, well, we're talking about manipulating money. There's a lot of different ways that you can manipulate money. Are we talking, and this is the problem, right? With a question like this, are we talking about shorting stocks? Are we talking about, um, you know, people that are literally uh, doing like currency trading? Uh, are we talking about people that are, you know, stock trading? Like, it's very hard to say. Why are you reacting to the statements as if you're debating whoever wrote them? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm verbalizing my internal thought process of how I'm going to answer a question. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just talking about how I'm, how I'm thinking about the question. I'm not debating it or anything like that. I'm just talking about it. Uh, let's see here. Um... I, yeah, I, I, you know what? The shorting argument that somebody made in chat, I do agree with that. I think that's a good point, that there are examples of that not being true. So, like, I think that this is generally untrue, but there are examples of it being true. So, yeah, I will change my opinion based off of that. That's that's a good insight. Uh, protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. I do agree with this. Absolutely. Um, I, I wish that in some cases we had more of it. That way, maybe some of our countries or, sorry, companies wouldn't be taking advantage of slave labor. I totally agree with this. Let's see here. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. I completely agree with this, but on the, like, so this is true, but I also have a different viewpoint on the way a government should exist. Like, I think that a government should be accountable for taking care of the people and not the, not the company ever. Like, I think that the entire mindset that a company should be responsible for taking care of a person is ridiculous. The only responsibility? Um, yeah, I think the government should be responsible for that. Let's underscore the word only here. Uh, social responsibility should be only to deliver a profit to its shareholders. Well, let's think about another social responsibility that a company should have. The safety of the product? Well, that's a regulation. The environment? I, do, would you view it pollution as a social responsibility? I'm not sure if I would. Like, I, I, I don't see it that way. It affects everyone, so yes. Okay, so if, if you include pollution, I absolutely disagree. If you don't include pollution, I absolutely agree. Like environmental effects, like what I'm saying is that whenever I think about this, it's like, should a company take care of its employees? I don't necessarily think that that should be the responsibility of a company. And I think that offsetting that responsibility to a company is just setting society up for failure. And I think we're seeing that happen now with all these layoffs. And I think that we'll continue to see it happen even more. It should be the government's responsibility. Environmental responsibility is 100% social responsibility? Okay, sure. I don't see it that way, but I can see why people think that. Sure. Um, or at least, like, maybe I don't... I can see why people are saying that. I just didn't see it that way myself. Your answer is, I, I do disagree. If, if everybody says it's they're including like environmental stuff, then yeah, I would change it for that. Current responsibility should be enforced to save workplace environments. Exactly, right? So it's like, and, and this is, this, this guy's post is like a very good point and like an example of like kind of like where I think that there's a bit of dissonance because like I think the government responsibility should be enforced to save work points, workplace. And so it's not really the, the it's not the corporation's responsibility 
it's really just the government's responsibility because I think corporation will never do it. And also a corporation can never be held accountable in the same way. Rich are too highly taxed. Strongly disagree. Uh, the, those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care. Sure. Yeah, I totally agree with this. The problem is that those with the ability, not without the ability to pay, should still have access to a standard of medical care. The problem isn't that rich people have access to good medical care. The problem is that poor people don't have access to good medical care or any medical care. That's not the issue. Government should penalize businesses and miss. Yeah, absolutely. A genuine free market requires restrictions. I've already a hundred fucking percent. This is like, bro, anybody who's played an MMO knows this for a fucking fact. Absolutely. Why disagree? Um, why do I? Oh, I might have clicked the wrong one, but yeah. Uh, government's penalized business. Yeah, I strongly agree. Strongly agree. Yes. 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 Okay, all this makes sense. You hit strongly disagree in the social question? Oh, because people are, people said that, that that's, I didn't see social responsibility. I viewed social responsibility as how they affect the culture and not the environment. Because it's like social responsibility, not like environmental responsibility. That's like in my mind. The rich question? The rich are too highly taxed. I disagree with this. I, I, I think that you can... I, I think the amount of money that I pay as tax is completely reasonable. If they made me pay more, I would pay more. Now, I'm not going to do it unless I have to. But if they made me pay more, then I would. Sure. I mean, and, and I don't ever have a problem with that because like, I used to have food stamps, right? Now, how did I get food stamps? Because some guy that made money paid money for me to have food stamps. And now I'm paying for some other loser to sit at home playing video games and get food stamps. And maybe one day he'll get a job and pay for the next loser to sit at home all day on food stamps. That's the circle of life. So, yeah, uh, no, I, I agree with these. Okay, next. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. I strongly disagree with that. Uh, like, for example, if somebody gets raped, like, is this a good thing to have a girl, uh, you know, carry a baby to term because it's raped? Uh, what about whenever the baby has, like, a life-threatening illness that's going to kill it as soon as it's born? Uh, is this a good thing to have the kid? No, it's disgusting. It's just, it's adding insult to injury. Uh, all authority should be questioned. Strongly agree. Eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. I also strongly agree with this. If you don't have people treat you like this, if you don't treat people like this, they'll keep taking all of your eyes. Uh, I think that you absolutely should show yourself to be dangerous because if you don't, then people will take advantage of you. Revenge? Well, it's, it's not revenge. It's accountability. Would that involve the military too? In some cases, yeah, absolutely. It also makes the world blind. Exactly. And if you're going to make the entire world blind, then if you're willing to do that, then people will be less likely to fuck with you. And that's why I would I, I, I agree with it. Does that make sense? Window for a window. Yeah. Uh, taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museum. That's ridiculous. I completely fucking disagree. This is awful. Yeah, I, I totally think that. Like, I, I, I hate the idea, and this is even something I've talked about before with, like, college, is that I don't disrespect in any way. Like, there obviously, like, there are bullshit degrees. And, yeah, if you have a degree in philosophy, you're probably not going to have a good time getting a job. But college and, and museums and theaters exist to further, like, the human body of knowledge. They're not meant to make money. That's not the goal. That it's education. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Of course not. Schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. I strongly disagree. If you can't show up at school, you're probably not going to learn shit. And I'm talking about, like, in, uh, in, like, you know, grades, like, kindergarten through 12th grade. 
I think that you absolutely should be expected to go to school. I think that going to public school, I would never say it should be mandatory, but if I had a kid, I would take I would send him to public school even if I had a billion dollars because I think that the ability to work with and interact with and understand people that are of different social standings, different economic standings, different cultural standings and being in what I would say is pretty much the closest thing to a melting pot you're going to have in your whole life unless maybe you go to the military. Um this is a tremendous advantage that people that go to public school have or can have the opportunity to have. And I feel like I've learned a lot in having to deal with people that I might not necessarily like or uh, agree with. Like going to public school in a lot of ways teaches you how to find common ground with different people. And I feel like unless you're put in situations like that, you end up finding different ground with common people. If that makes sense. Advantage depends on where you go. Definitely does. And I'm sure that people have had bad experiences in school, but I absolutely would want to have my kids go to public school. All people uh, have their rights. It's better for us, but it's better for us all that different sorts of people should keep to their own. Oh, of course not. Um, good parents sometimes have to spank. Completely disagree. If you have to hit your kids, uh, you're also a kid. Uh, gorillas do that. Uh, monkeys do that. Uh, animals in the zoo do this. Uh, if you have to resort to uh, any sort of physical violence to have your kid do anything other than self-defense, you are a bad parent. And you, you are teaching your kid that you should solve problems with violence. Spanking is not different. It's the exact same thing. It's disgusting, and it should never happen. And the only reason why parents do that is because their ti their kids don't respect them because they're bad parents. Asian parents do that. Asian parents don't do that. White parents don't do that. Black parents do that. Bad parents do that. Nobody has a monopoly on being shitty. Did my, my dad spank me? Absolutely not. My dad never hit me at all. And I never like went against them or disagreed with them or did anything that he would really dis like get mad at me for. My dad was a sergeant in Vietnam. Uh, he had multiple combat instances. He tried to go back to Vietnam after they sent him back. He tried to sign up for Desert Storm even. Like, <laughs> it's not like he wasn't capable of violence. Like, he's on painkillers now because of how much violence he had whenever he was young. He never hit me. Never. His parents hit him, and it made him hate his parents. So he didn't do that to me, and that's it. Not even a smack? Never. Never. Not even grabbing me by my arm? Nothing. And neither did my mom. Was your back? It's a bit better, man. It's a bit better. Consequence handling is more important. Yeah. No, I, yeah, that, that's that's my opinion. It's natural for kill, children to keep some secrets from their parents. Who the fuck disagrees on this? Strongly agree. Absolutely, of course. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. It shouldn't even be a similar. Uh, it shouldn't be a, an offense at all. Uh, I, I misread it. Yeah, strongly agree. I mean, yeah, it shouldn't be offense in any capacity. The only time smoking weed is bad is if you're selling it to kids or if you're operating machinery or a car whenever you're high. Other than that, it's totally fine. And I don't smoke weed. I never have. I never will. I almost said don't smoke the devil's lettuce. <laughs> is that right? Oh, God. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. I just... I want to say I strongly agree. I do. I really want to say that I strongly agree. Ah. Uh. School has never done that. Bait question. I think it's a bait question as well. Uh, yeah, I think this is an agree and not a strongly agree. 
The reason why is because I think that schools should do that, but I don't think that you should... Like, as I said, I don't think people in the future will need to have jobs. Every single person should not be expected to have a job in, like, 100 years. So it, it's a very contemporary opinion. And so I don't think that they should exclusively do that. But yes, the, of course, a school's primary function should be to equip the next generation. Because what is... So, like, uh, finding a job... Really, like, finding a job... What What is finding a job? Finding a job is generally finding a meaningful way to contribute back to society. And should the primary function of schooling be to equip a future generation to contribute back to society? Absolutely. It's not even a question. Let's see here. People with serious and heritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Strongly disagree, because who decides on that? Um, most important thing for children is to learn to accept discipline. I disagree. I don't strongly disagree because I think that it's important to accept discipline, but is it the most important thing? No, it's not. I, I, I yeah, I, I don't like that. There are no savage and civilized people. There are only different cultures. I completely disagree with this. There are cultures full of savages and animals. They exist right now. There is no cultural, uh, you know, um, what's the word for it? What do people use? Cultural, like, relevance? Not relevancy. Um, whatever, whatever the fucking word is. Uh, I, I'm not gonna be able to get, get past this. Uh, relativism. Yes, relativism. Their, cultural relativism is bullshit. It's not true. There are inferior cultures. They are worse in every, not, maybe not every single way, but they are observably worse in certain specific ways, and there are certain cultures that are worse in a lot of ways. I, I hate this idea that you should look at our culture and think that it's equivalent to cultures of like these like random tribes where they're like, oh, I don't even want to say what the kind of stuff they do. They're like raping people like 10 years old, 12 years old. It's disgusting. It's, it's fucking filthy. Of course, they're, they're absolute savages. It's gross. Yeah, it's not even a question. Uh, those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's support. Oh, Ooh, this is a hard one. Because what is the opportunity? I'm either agree or disagree. I no, I don't feel strongly about this. I, I kind of agree with this. Because you should expect to contribute to society in some way if you can. And if you're needed to. The implication of universal basic income is that you're not needed to. Right? Like, that's the logic there. And so... No adult should expect anyone to have to take care of them. I disagree with this statement. I do. Because, yeah, who decides who's able? That's a good point. Yeah, I do. I, I, I disagree. I think that there are people that, yeah, they of course people should expect to support in some cases. Absolutely. But this is not a universal opinion that I have. Uh, it, it Like, I, I don't know really how, how strongly I feel about this. It's saying if you are able... Yeah, but, like, who says that, right? Context unclear. Yeah, I, I mean, this is... Do you, you guys understand why I have problems following directions in video games? Because every time somebody tells me to do something, I think about all of the ways that it's wrong. Like, this is exactly why I have trouble following tutorials. It's because I, I, I just always try to abstract something and turn it into something that it's not. Overthinking? Yeah, it does. I overthink everything. When you're troubled, it's better to not think about it, but keep busy with more cheerful things. It's always nice to say strongly disagree, but I completely fucking agree with this. I totally fucking agree with this. Absolutely. I've tried the other way. It didn't help me. And I think that the best thing to do is to try to distract yourself and move past it. I do. First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. That's stupid. I know plenty of people that are like Mexican immigrants, first generation, that are complete fucking Americans. They're wearing jean shorts and wearing Dallas Cowboys uh, fucking t-shirts or jerseys the same as everybody else is. No, nah, that's just bullshit. Uh, what's good for the most successful corporation is always ultimately good for all of us. I mean, always. Like, no, that's not true. I mean, I don't agree, like, because corporations are made up of people. 
And if it's a big corporation, that's a lot of people. So sometimes if something's good for a lot of people, then maybe it would be good. But it's not, be, it's not good because it's a corporation. It's good because it's a group of people. So yeah, I, I do strongly disagree with that. Um, no broadcasting in, institution, however independent its content, should receive public funding. This is a very interesting question. Let me think about this. I kind of want to say I strongly agree. I do. But I think that, like, I'm thinking about broadcasting in the context of news. I think that I at least agree. Maybe in some cases outside of news, I don't agree. But I would say, like, 85 to 95 percent, I do agree with this. I, I think if, the, if you're involved with government money, you're accountable to the government. Leverage is not profit. Oh, oh, money is absolutely leverage. It always is. Our civil liberties are extremely curbed in the name of counter-tax. Absolutely. Um, significant advantage of a one-party state is it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. This is true. Like, look at China. They do all kinds of crazy shit. It's it, it it is true, but it's like it's the disadvantage is like way worse. So it's like I'm worried that if I, I put this, it's gonna make it's gonna put me down as like a fucking like some kind of like crazy totalitarian fascist. But like, yes, this is actually this is actively true. What the fuck do I say? And, but it is an event. It is. It is. <sighs> We need a good dictator. That's the problem. I don't know. But in truth, it's a giant downside. It is. Oh, man. This, I feel like this is such a bait question. Seems like a red there. Yeah. Significant advantage. Well, it is. It's a tremendous advantage. It, they, they can move much faster. Absolutely. Like, if, if the goal that you have is, like, for example, to be able to move faster, then not having to, like, if you don't have accountability, you can, like, think about it. If you have 10 people in a room together, it's harder to make a decision than if you're in the room with yourself. I, it's, I don't know, I think it makes sense. There can still be disagreement within the party. You're right about that. Except for bad policies. This is not, th this question is not an evaluation on the quality of the policies. It's an evaluation on the expediency of applying policies. So I, I, I don't know. I think people are disagreeing. Like, I think this is a, it's, it's a true statement, but it, it, sh it, that doesn't make it good. Let's see here. Um, although electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. I completely fucking disagree with this. I mean, this is insane. If you have nothing to hide, then you have nothing to fear. I mean, come on. This is, I mean, duh. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. I completely disagree with this. Um, just only for the reason that it costs more money to get somebody convicted for the death penalty. Uh, now, there's tons of people that I wish they just take them into the back and shoot them, right? But I think that the amount of ways that, like, a person should be able to go to bat to defend... Uh, question mark. No, I know, I know, it's crazy. I didn't believe it either. I looked it up. It actually costs more money to kill somebody because of all of the legal appeals that you can do. And so the real question is that, does somebody deserve to have those legal appeals? And my opinion of that is yes. And so if you're talking about the death penalty, the only reason this would be a good thing is because you'd get them out of the system, right? And why is it a good thing to get them out of the system? Well, because they're costing money. So if getting them out of the system is costing you more money, then it would defeat the purpose of getting them out of the system in the first place. So you shouldn't do it. So that's why I disagree with the death penalty. But yes, 
please don't get it twisted. There are plenty of people that I think they should just take them out into the back and shoot them. But I understand that that's not the way things should go. And people do have rights. And if the worst criminals don't have rights, then no one does. That's my opinion. I know this might be upsetting for some people. And trust me, I dislike the criminals just as much as you do. I am a very big police supporter. However, that's the truth. The chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Well, no, because, like, what about kids? Um, no, that, that's ridiculous. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered alt art at all. I strongly disagree about this. We talked about the Jackson Pollock shit multiple times. Uh, anything is art if you want it to be. Um, art is a democratic decision. People decide if something is art. In a weird way, it's almost like the artist doesn't even decide whether it's art. The people that see it do. And if enough people see it and they all think that it's art, it becomes art. Andy Warhol copy pasted control C, control V, Campbell's soup cans, and people said, oh my fucking God. No, I'm sorry, guys, but I don't think that's very groundbreaking. However, there it is. You could say anything is art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are still talking about the banana tape to the wall. Of course. In criminal adjustment, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. Strongly, I strongly disagree with this. Punishment is for gorillas. Gorillas care about punishment. How do you reconcile allowing the death penalty when the fact that we've wrongly executed people and will likely do so again? Oh, I mean, fuck-ups happen all the time. But, like, I don't really care about that as much as I care about people... Like, I don't care about individual fuck-ups as much as I care about bad systems. Because bad systems create bad outcomes like, systematically. Of course you're going to have mistakes. Sure, of course. I mean, if people get in car wrecks, uh, people get, like, the wrong medication and they die. Like, all this stuff happens, of course. Like, I, are, are we going to, like, throw, like, there has never been a single implementation of any system in the history of systems that has ever been done without there being some degree of fuck-up. No. So the only way that you can avoid fuck-ups is by doing nothing. Lack of punishment is the reason why crime is more, more rampant than ever lately. I totally agree with you, and I think that anybody who's shoplifting should go to jail. I totally agree with you. But I don't think they should have the death penalty. It's a waste of time to try and rehabilitate some criminals. I agree with this. I think absolutely this is the case. There are some people that are absolute animals, and uh, you're never going to rehabilitate them. It's never going to happen. And so all you do is find a place to put them in, and that's it. Until they die. Fuck them. It, these are extreme cases. I mean, some. I'm talking about like 1% cases, of course. Tectone, like tectone. Yeah, tectone. Good example. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. No, because none of them matter. Only the customer matters. Um, mothers may have careers, but their first duty is to be homemakers. I, so here's why I, I kind of disagree, because there are a lot of single moms, and their first duty is to have a career that allows them to make a home. Do you see what I'm saying? So, like, that's why this is confusing to me. Good point, yeah. And so I think that, like, this logic can only be used... If you're in like a traditional marriage. And I think that this should be decided by the. Um, this should be decided by the people. The two people in the marriage. Like they're stay at home dads. I don't think this is something that should be decided. I, I was just thinking about a way to explain that. Because like I think that yeah. There are a lot of cases where 
yeah, of course it's their responsibility to take care of their kids. And I think that if you have kids, your responsibility, whenever you have kids, your responsibility is your kids and then your job. But the reality is that if you don't have your job, you might not be able to take care of your kids. And that's what makes it complex. Almost all politicians promise economic growth, but we should heed the warnings of climate science that the growth is detrimental to our efforts to curb global warming. This is another outdated question. Global warming was popular in 2008. It fell off, let's be honest. Uh, now it's about climate change, and I think climate change is real. I think humans are affecting it. People smoke in a house, the house smells like smoke. People smoke in an area, the area smells like shit. A town, a city... Uh, you know, is so polluted that it's like smoking a cigarette, a pack of cigarettes a day. Uh, I think that the idea that you can't do that to the whole world on any level. Imagine if you detonated every single nuke at the same time. Like there is clearly a spectrum where people can affect the world. Now, are we on that spectrum? I'm not really sure, but I think that exists. So I'm going to strongly agree. Yes, I, I completely agree with this. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. I agree, but I don't strongly agree. I think that it's important to make peace with things that you can't control. And it's important to make peace with things and stop trying to fight against every little thing and be able to accept some degree of happiness and live within the confines of the existence that you have. So I actually do agree with this, but not in the bootlicker way. Astrology, okay. Um, you cannot be moral without being religious. Disagree. I think actually it's quite the opposite in many cases. Charity is better than social security as a means for helping to... No, it's not. Some people are naturally unlucky. I completely agree with this. Like Here, I'm going to give you an example of people that are naturally unlucky. Kids that get cancer. Bad spawn RNG. Yep. Blind. One leg. Three legs. Think about that. It's important that my child's school instills really strongly disagree. I do not want to have religion in school at all. Sex outside marriage is usually immoral. I strongly disagree with that. Big surprise. Uh, a same-sex couple in a loving, stable relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Should not be. Yeah, sure, why not? Obviously, like, there are plenty of abusive parents that are heterosexual, too. I think the idea that, like, oh, well, you know, a gay couple is going to get a kid and then, like, molest the kid. Like, does this happen? For fucking sure it happens. Absolutely it happens. And so do, so do straight couples do that. But is this something that we should base everybody off of? No. That's why you have an interview process, to make that decision. Who even said that? Tons of people say that on the internet. Millions of people think this. Just because I'm saying it doesn't mean it, it's like, is this new? Of course, millions of people think this. Yes, that's why I'm saying it. I understand, guys. I don't really mince my words a lot. I just try to say it how it fucking is. Because if you're not talking about how it is, you're living in a fucking fantasy. So yeah, that's that's my uh, that's my viewpoint on it. Gay people are a danger to kids. Was big in the '90s, of course, and it's making a comeback now. I'm seeing a lot more people talk about that. Only radicals think they shouldn't. Well, yeah, I think that's generally true. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be illegal for the adult population. Yeah, I agree. Um, what goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. I str is there any example of me not agreeing with this? I can't think of one, uh, except it's probably some like crazy weird thing. Um, furries? Yeah, true. No one can feel naturally homosexual. I disagree with that. There's plenty of animals that fuck the same sex. I, I mean, it, it happens. To say no one can feel this way, there's 7 billion people, not a single one of them can, get the fuck out of here. 
obviously being gay isn't the norm. Most people aren't gay. But that doesn't mean nobody can be gay. Come on. These days, openness about sex is gone. <laughs> feel like this quest this question's aged very well with uh with only fans openness about sex has gone too far i actually agree with this i do i think that things are way too overly overly sexualized nowadays i think that there's way too much of it there's too much of a fixation on it it's unhealthy it's like whenever i see people that bring their kids to hooters what the fuck is wrong with you like that, that woman who had like her her van with her OnlyFans, it's fucking disgusting. Absolutely not. And I'm a very sex positive guy. Like uh, I, I absolutely am. But I think that it just being a dominant factor in basic culture that exists in a world where there are minors and children that are consuming it and seeing it, I think it's too much. And I think it's used... It, it, you know, like with, with movies, right? Like we saw the Henry Cavill thing. I totally fucking agree with them. Like people use sex scenes and sex content as a crutch for bad storytelling. And maybe not bad storytelling, but if you've played any gotcha game, they certainly as fuck use it as a crutch for bad gameplay. Let's be real. Why, Hoot why Hooters? Because it's a sexual restaurant. It's a restaurant where the women are dressed... And it is a sexual avenue. It, it, what are we talking about? It, 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 no, you bring your kids there. You're wrong. No, you should not bring your kids there. If your kid's 17, I, I mean, I'm not, what are we going to split hairs here? But I'm talking about bringing a nine year old there. Absolutely not. Hooters is tame today? Yeah, sure. Now let's see where you stand. All right, you guys ready? Where am I? Okay. There it is. Imagine thinking boobs equals porn. Boobs are absolutely sexualized. The name is literally... The, the, the store is literally named after a slang word for boobs. They are absolutely fucking sexual in our society. And you are not going to hoodwink me into thinking that they're not. If they weren't sexual, the restaurant wouldn't be called that name. Some people really need therapy. Do you agree with the outcome? I, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. How do you not expect that? Well, it's just like a lot of the questions for like the right wing ones are like, do you hate gay people? Is your race better than everybody else's race? Like these are like kind of, these are pretty intense. Like there's a lot of other conservative values that aren't necessarily hating gay people and thinking that like certain races are bad right like where does where does the astrology question change your, where does that make you go